Create CVI-friendly videos using Apple Keynote. Given a theme in your own imagination, you can create a presentation or video in the colors and qualities that work best for your student. Consider adapting stories and concepts that your students' classmates are learning about to improve access to the content. Step 1. Choose your theme. Step 2. Create design layout in Keynote. Step 3. Gather images with backgrounds removed. Step 4. Insert images onto slides. Step 5. Record or insert audio files. Step 6. Animate and set order of images and sounds. Step 7. Save as keynote presentation or video. Step 8. Ideas for sharing and presenting. Step 1. Choose your theme. Use themes determined by your student's classroom teacher or develop your own theme. Some ideas are nursery rhymes, children's book, movie characters, early learning, like opposites, movements, foods, directional concepts, counting, etc. Reading skills, or the interests of the child, book about their favorites. Step two, create design layout in Keynote. Depending on theme and visual needs of the student, create a layout for your presentation. Considerations. Slide background color. Font size, if using printed words. And color of font. Number of slides. Step 3. Gather images with backgrounds removed. Put your Googling skills to work. 1. Decide what images will best convey meaning to the student and search by keyword online. 2. Remove background of images. A link to the website remove.bg will be in the description. 3. Save images to computer or Google Drive folder. 4. Alternatively, or in combination, explore keynote shapes, simple shapes and object outlines that can be color customized. Step 4. Insert images onto slides. Assembly time. Number 1. Insert images on each slide from file or create from Keynote Shape Gallery. 2. Add text or word images. A link to the Roman word bubbling site is in the description. 3. Adjust size and position of each item. Step 5. Record or insert audio files. Will sounds, labeling, or description of salient features enhance the understanding for your student? 1. Search for sound bites that fit your theme by keyword. I like to add the word free and mp3 to my search. 2. Download and save sound bites. 3. Insert sound bites onto slides. 4. Can also use record audio option in Keynote. Step 6. Animate and set order of images and sounds. Add some excitement and bring your images to life. 1. Explore animation options for moving an image onto the slide, off of the slide, or just giving it some movement. 2. Latency, competing stimuli abilities, and need for movement should be considered at this stage. 3. Set order of animations and sound files. 4. Preview, preview, preview. Step 7. Save as keynote presentation or video. Know your audience and their available technology. Your presentation can be saved as a keynote dot key type file or exported to another format, movie. Keynotes can be controlled with a touch of the screen, must be a single finger, or with a single input switch. Input activates animation and slide changes depending on the settings you've determined. Movies can be presented without need for student to isolate a finger or use a switch. Movies can easily be shared via YouTube or from your Google Drive. Step 8. Ideas for sharing and presenting. 
Embed a link to your presentation or video into class assignments being sent out by classroom teachers. Screen share during direct virtual instruction. Be sure to share audio. Create your own YouTube channel or playlist and share by link. Save presentations or videos to Google Drive and share link.